Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation. This is brand new from Lisa Eldridge and I was very excited to get my hands on it so I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. I actually went down to the Lisa Eldridge store. The vlog is going to be out this Sunday so do check it out. Vlog 20 is going to be the Lisa Eldridge pop-up experience and I spent like two hours in the store. Uh, I accidentally bumped into Lisa Eldridge as well so that's a fun a surprise. My hair is extremely wild so I have no idea what the pictures look like because I haven't actually been brave enough to have a look at it yet but I do know that I, my hair was quite wild but she looked very chic so you'll be able to see Lisa Eldridge in the video so check it out on Sunday vlog 20. I'm also going to be showing you guys her new eyeshadows her new metallic liquid eyeshadows which are not launching yet I think someone in the team said they'll be launching mid-november so we'll be able to check those out soon i've swatched them all let me know which ones you want me to buy because there are five and they're really really nice and i need some help in terms of which ones to actually get so let me know in the comments on sunday's vlog vlog 20 let me know in the comments what you think i should get but in the meantime, I'm going to be testing out the brand new foundation. I went into the store. I saw it in real life. It is gorgeous. It's actually very unique in its shape. It actually lies on its side. It's like a piece of art. And that was definitely the feeling of going to the Lisa Eldridge pop-up. It feels like you're going to an art gallery, a museum of makeup, if you will. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited to try it. I did actually try on 27, 28, 29, 30 in store and if you want to see 29 30 31 32 on my face i will link down my video where i swatch those on my face below that was last week when i did the lisa eldridge new lipstick and lip pencil so i did actually get a new shade of the lip gloss when i was there i got the shade blush because i swatched it and it looked really cute i was very tempted to buy two more lipsticks i was going to get the decade and the muse so when you see sunday's vlog let me know what you think of them and whether i should get them because i will be going back very soon to get the eyeshadows so yeah i'm excited to try this and the bottle is really really cool it's like a it's kind of like an egg uh, but it lies on its side it doesn't stand up so some people might find that annoying i find it quite interesting and different i have no idea where i'm going to put it in my makeup collection but i haven't had to think about that yet it does come in a really cool box so if you do want to keep it standing up in your collection i presume you can just keep it in the box which is probably what i'm actually going to do now i think of it but anyway i'm just going to get into it i'm going to show you guys the packaging i'm going to read you guys some of the blurb there's not much blurb because it is still not available to buy yet on her website but i'll link down her website uh, and as soon as it's available, I'll do a post on YouTube and let you guys know when it's available. This comes in 40 shades, so it's a really nice inclusive launch. And I think, like, with Pat McGrath, I'm pretty close to the middle, which is amazing, which just goes to show that there are some really, really rich, deeper shades than me. And she's going much deeper than me, and it's not just, like, two extra shades or four extra shades. It's, like, a good... 12 extra shades after me so really really impressed with that love the fact that she's coming out so inclusive especially because she is an independent brand she's still like a growing brand and it's really cool there are so many other bigger brands that when they came out they didn't do that and the fact that she's doing it straight off the bat i think is really fantastic and she's been very conscious of being being inclusive since she started launching complexion products so i just have to say hats off to lisa eldridge for doing that i really think it's amazing and very representative of the world. <laughs> so I'm going to read you guys the blurb. There's not much, so that's good for those of you that don't like it when I read. I also don't like seeing myself read on camera. It's really awkward and embarrassing. So this is the foundation, the Seamless Skin Foundation. Coming off the back of the Seamless Skin Elevator Glow. I will show you it on maybe one side with a seamless skin ele elevator glow underneath just so you guys can see what it looks like she says this intelligently formulated skin friendly foundation has a customizable medium coverage that can be dialed up or down self-setting it blends effortlessly to smooth and unify skin with a noticeable soft focus effect best applied sparingly in thin layers start by smoothing a small amount into the skin it's fragrance alcohol and talc free suitable for sensitive skin i got the shade 28 which is so random i was not expecting that i was expecting to go back and get 29 or 32 but the gentleman there matched me up and he was like the first time he saw me he was like 28 and then like me being me tried everything else on my face on my hands was like oh i don't really know it just feels like too much like my skin tone and I said to them, I don't know if it's just because I'm so used to not having a perfect match where it's literally invisible that I'm just feeling like I should get something a bit different or a bit warmer or a bit richer. 
Uh, and he also said, is that just because you never had a good match before? And I said, I think you might be right. And he said, it is se it is called seamless skin for a reason. So it is supposed to be seamless. You're not really disposed to notice it on. And then after he said that, I kind of realized that he was right. And I've been probably conditioned to think that things that aren't quite my shade are actually more, more my shade than things that actually are my shade. So rather surprisingly, I got the shade 28. Let me show you guys that on, which is quite good because I haven't been able to show you guys that shade yet and it's a good opportunity if you are my skin tone to be able to see it as well. So, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you guys the bag I got from the pop-up. Also, when I was there, there's another secret, surprise. She has also launched some makeup brushes which are exclusive to the store, which you will see in the vlog as well. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. So, all of the products came wrapped with this gorgeous Lisa Eldridge paper, which has my favorite logo, as you guys know on. And then this is the foundation here. It is £44. I'm not sure how much it will be in US dollars, but it is £44 and it came in this box here. It looks like perfume. It's super luxurious, super high-end, and I'm really, really impressed with it. The Lisa Eldridge one does look pretty much identical to my Pat McGrath MD26. It also looks very close to the uh, Dior 5N. As we know, the Capture Total takes a while to oxidize and adjust, and now it has adjusted. It does look identical to the Pat McGrath MD26 and the Lisa Eldridge. With the Lisa Eldridge, it does kind of look like it's oxidizing. 
but it's actually not it's actually just drying down and this is something i noticed when i first swatched them when i was trying out the sample cards they dry down was very quick and i didn't really know why but when i went into store and when you read the packaging as well it does say that it is a self-setting uh, foundation so you don't necessarily need powder it's supposed to give you a bit more of a blurred effect and it's supposed to kind of be for people who don't necessarily want to use any powder or don't like to use any powder or just want a slightly more matte finish one side i'm going to do it on its own and then on one side i'm going to do it with the a little bit of the elevated glow underneath just to see how glowy we can go as you guys saw the packaging was super cool at the moment i have it lying down on its side you have to kind of lie it down like this for it to stand up some people are going to get annoyed by that but i quite like the fact that it's different and i will just keep it in the box um when i want it in my collection i do like the fact that the box is upright so if you do want to keep it upright you can the box is gorgeous and stunning and i love the packaging i love the external packaging so it's quite good that i get to give it a second life and also the fact that it's so like high-end and luxurious looking means that it won't look random when it's like in my cabinet the only thing is because it is white um, and this is quite brown it's probably going to get quite grubby but at least i have an opportunity to keep it standing up she said just use light layers i'm just going to use one pump it's actually a really nice shade and i'm glad i listened to him um, and followed his advice because I do think this is probably the best shade for me. So if you do have a card, a sample card, it might be worth checking out the sample card just underneath because this one is just underneath the one I picked uh, and it's a spot on match for me. It is still quite sheer here. It's definitely very lightweight, definitely very buildable, um, and definitely light to medium coverage with just one pump. As you can see, it has already kind of evened up my complexion, and you can see a lot less of the darkness over here now. It has slightly evened it out, but you can still see my skin through it. So I might layer it up a little bit more just to see how we can, see how medium to full coverage it can get. I just want to see what happens if I put a tiny bit more on, but I think this is actually fine. So what I really like about this foundation is it doesn't matter how many times you layer it up, well I've, I've definitely put on a few very light layers and it doesn't look thick, it doesn't look cakey, it does can keep the same finish as well throughout. So I do think that looks nice, it feels very lightweight, it looks very lightweight. It has a very skin like skin like quality and this is how I found it in the store, I found it so much like my skin that I was like oh shouldn't it be richer or warmer or something he was like well it's just your skin tone color so no um so that's definitely what i'm feeling you really can't see a difference in the tone where there is more of an even skin tone you really can't see a difference in the tone it's more just it looks a bit more flawless it looks a bit more smooth anyway on this side i'm going to pop on a little bit of the elevated glow just so we can see what it looks like with a glowier base and see if we can wear this any other ways of the shade what is this i think this is celestial fire yeah, the shade Celestial Fire, which is her richest one. I'm just going to blend it in straight with the foundation because that's generally how I like to do it.
like it with the glow underneath as well. I think because this is actually a very, 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 very glowy illuminator, they balance each other out really nicely. They're kind of the perfect partners for each other. is a Tom Ford, my favourite concealer at the moment to wear with foundation. I do like them together. I do feel like the concealer's lifted the foundation and the foundation's actually been a really good base for them. So I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face. So that's the foundation on, I actually really like this and I have to say, either way it's nice, it looks really nice and glowy here but it does still have a glow depending on what you put on top of it. So I do like it. Last up I'm going to try on blush, lip gloss, not new to Lisa Aldridge but it is new to me. Comes in her gorgeous packaging as always. So guys, that is it, that's my finished look. That is the Lisa Eldredge Seamless Skin Foundation in the shade 28. I really like this foundation. I think it's done a really good job of giving me a really nice, smooth, perfected finish. It feels like nothing on, it looks like nothing on, and it works really well with like glowy illuminators, but it also works really well on its own. And then just with like powder and cream products on top. So I think it's a really good foundation. We'll try and do a wear test. It is now, 1.15. Hi guys, I can't actually see you. It is the evening time and I have been on a tube, worn a mask twice, eaten, had a, had a nap, woken up, had another nap, and just eaten again, and um, realized I want to take off my face. So I literally napped like this, and it was literally the best nap I've ever had. Um, so I don't know if there's any makeup left on my face. There probably isn't, but I'm going to show you it. It is now, let's see the time. It is now 8.44, so let's see. Let me prove it. I've definitely put this to the test. It's been seven and a half hours, which is really good. It's a really good full day's wear test. So I'm going to show you it on, up close, and then I'm going to take it off. seven and a half hours later after two naps and a lot of mask wear so I think it actually, it actually looks a lot better than I thought it was going to look it definitely is more visible than I thought it was going to be this side where I kind of slept is a lot less made up but I do think there's still like a decent amount of coverage here it's not the best wear test because I mean they don't really expect you to take a nap but I do really like this foundation I think it's really nice it does self set which I did find 
kind of confusing at first but as soon as I started applying more makeup on top and bronzer or blusher or creamy products or anything else it kind of all made sense to me it sat underneath all of my different products really nicely so I will keep using it I will be trying it for the rest for the next couple of weeks as I normally do and I will let you guys know how I like it but so far I think it's a really nice foundation so hopefully you guys enjoy this video I definitely feel like 28 is my shade it's a perfect match for me so I'm really happy with it I think it's really nice I'm looking forward to wearing it more and wearing it with other products I have and so far so good let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys will you be buying it will you be trying it let me know anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe i would love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one